Real quick, disclaimer. There's a million ways to do this better, I'm sure. I'm sure people have come up with adapters, wires, engineers. That's great, that's awesome. If you have, share below, share, me, share you with me your experiences. I'd love to learn, love to hear from it. But this is a budget-friendly channel. A lot of people who buy computers from me need computers on a low, low, cheap, real budget, can't afford computers. And we just wanna get it to them where they can at least get open, uh, get into the gaming world, just need an office computer, whatever the computer they may be. So um, what I do over here is just to help get people computers at a low, low cost. They're still reliable, they're still great, they still have no issues and they'll last a long time. But hey, if I'm gonna get people cheap computers, I can't go out and buy new motherboards, do special things like that. So before I get ripped apart or anything like that, just keep in mind, you know, this is budget computing. So I just wanna keep that in mind. So, all right, hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so I wasn't planning to really record today, but I figured why not. So once again, working on a Dell Optiplex. This is a uh, 7010. This is actually the uh, SFS, SFF model, small form factor, came in a little small itty bitty case. Um, case was damaged, jacked up. I just took out the front IO and all that stuff and decided I'm gonna probably put this in another case and do another project with this. Now this small form factor motherboard does fit in regular cases. I've done it before few times but the issue that I always had with these uh, swapping these overs is the cooler well I figured I'd just do a video on this and what I usually do with these coolers so first issue they're gonna run into with these coolers is that it has these proprietary connectors from Dell but if you get on Amazon eBay you can buy an adapter where you could actually convert this multi pin to a four pin and you'll be fine it'll work as a PWM you'll have no issues you can actually use a regular fan so that's the first thing you can do. The second thing is, is these uh, uh, small form factor ones, these little mini motherboards, they use this blower type cooler. So I don't know if I'm zooming in too much over here. Enhance, there we go. So use these blower type coolers, which they work, they're fine. Actually on these uh, small form factor ones, I've put i5s, i7s, never had an issue. Um, this one is an, actually this one's an i5. I've actually put an i5, uh, i7 third gen in here. Never had issues, ran fine. Put a low profile 1050 Ti, 16 gigs of RAM. They run great. But in, that, uh, in this case, the case was damaged. So we're actually gonna put this in a normal case, which I actually don't have here, but that's another one. So I just wanna do a video on how I deal with these fan situations. So you got two options. Uh, option number one, um, you can actually use this. You can actually mount it in, use it, whatever. And it works fine but the problem that you're going to run into with this is that if you look over here it has these little stand it has these little um, screws and you need to go to a hardware store get the nuts for it you screw it in the back and then usually when you screw it in the back if i can get this right over here usually when you screw it in the back you usually want to have some type of plastic washer or anything and then you run into it being a little too close because you might not have enough threads but you know it works <clears throat> that's one way to do it what I do is I pop these off. As you can see, these things come off. I pop these off and I wire tie them on. And that typically works. And I've never had an issue with that in dealing with that. So I'll show you real quick. Let me go ahead and pop these things off. Okay, real quick, before I go into whatever part of this video is, I don't think I recorded this part. So as a CY uh, on my part, and just uh, reiterate, this Dell small form factor uh, 7010, you cannot fit a traditional CPU cooler in it. It doesn't. You can only fit the blower style in it. So this is intended for somebody who needs to either change this, upgrade this, or repair it, don't have one lying around, or just need to change the fan. The cooler itself will never go bad unless you crack them or they break. Usually the fan goes bad. You can buy another fan for $10, or you can mod it and put it in there. But like I said, these coolers, these uh, factory ones, if you have the Dell small fa form factor um, with the blower style, you can't put a traditional cooler in there. So you're gonna have to look into some other means to either repair it or upgrade it. So just wanted to put that in there real quick. Okay, so when you pop them off, you have these little spring actuated screws. It has these little clamps over here. I don't know if it gets that in right there. And that actually kind of puts a little pressure on it and holds it right on. I take a little 
pair of snips. I cut those little circle clamps, whatever you call them, cut them right off. They pop right out. So let's see if I can get this in the camera over here. I'm trying to actually different. So this is actually pretty hard to get in this camera. There we go. So let's go in right here. Get this thing up as much as I can. Okay, so. There you go. It breaks right off. So as you can see, took it right off. So let me go ahead and finish this up real quick. Okay, so I got these off. Pretty simple, easy. So here's a trick I do. Uh, number one, make sure you clean all that stuff. I mean, that should be common sense at this point. If you work on computers, make sure you have clean services. I just reiterating that just because, I mean, you never know, people forget. Uh, let me find some thermal paste. I got some thermal paste. Just pop that in there. All right. Okay, so pieces are off. Very simple, very easy. Just cut them off with a side cutter, or some type of cutting tool. Probably pop them out with a hammer, but you take a chance of cracking this. So if you hit it too hard in the wrong angle, uh, get a wire tie. All right, make sure it's not too thick because the holes over here are a little thicker. Then the ones on the motherboard, so you gotta make sure those are good. Take it, pop it down, put it through the, one of the holes, like that. Like I said, I uh, got a bad camera angle, but I think we can make this work. And then what you wanna do is find the other hole over here. Okay, let's see if we can get that. So now the first one is set, that's done. Now we'll cut that off and that'll be all fine and dandy. So let's get three more wire ties of the same length. Okay, now it's a little easier because we have one side in. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed this one wire tie over here. Tighten this one up so I can get it close into the motherboard. There we go. Make sure that I don't wire tie that in. That would totally suck. Okay. So now I just want to pull in the pressure from the back. So you see, pull the pressure in the back and that's actually going to bring this one closer. So when I put it in the case, see these two wire ties right over here? Yeah. So if you pull those in, it'll be closer and it should clear no issue, clear no issue but we're actually going to get the longer ones and not do it this way. So. Let me go ahead and tighten these up and we'll be right back. Okay, so they're tightened up. Got them real nice and tight. They ain't going nowhere. As you can see in the bottom, they're tight. I actually measured it with a motherboard standoff and this actually clears once you push down. I actually put it in a case and no issues, but I am gonna get the longer one of these wire ties so I could just have it loop-de-loop -loop and it'll just look better and I could probably sleep at night knowing that that's done a lot better, so all right. So uh, if you find the right case, actually what you can do is you can actually use this blower cooler just like this. I've actually found a couple of cases where when you mount it up to the front IO, right over here where the air blows out, it actually blows it out and there's actually little mesh in holes over there. Some cases have it, some cases don't. The cases that I found that typically um, have it are the cheaper ones. So I'll put a link uh, in the description below to some of the cases that actually have the uh, have it set up where you can actually have the where the holes this face is right there and blow it out but not all cases have that and you really don't want to be restricted to the type of case you have so this is something i recommend and this is something that i typically do with these 
I mean, just depending on the budget, the solution, whatever. Um, also, sometimes when people have these computers and they want repairs or whatever, it is hard. I mean, it's thinking hard to find these coolers. Yeah, you can buy them on eBay, but then people got to wait for a week and they need their computer now. Or they're overheating, whatever the story may be. So, you know, here's a quick, easy solution. Here's a quick, easy fix. The blower comes right off. Take off all the screws. The blowers come right off. No issue there. You can actually put a fan right over here. Just put a normal fan, wire it up into the Molex. You're good to go. So that's another idea too. Um, I actually think I've put an 80 millimeter. I've actually ghetto rigged a 120 millimeter on here, or maybe it was a 90 millimeter. I don't think it was a 120. Yeah, it was about a 90 millimeter or something like that to effect. Put that, that works. These proprietary Dell adapters right over here, like I said, you could buy them. They're about three, four dollars, and then you could put whatever fan uh, you want over here. Typically, the cases that don't have the accommodations for the vent so it could blow out, because some cases it's just a clear, sh uh, clear piece of metal, and it's not going to be able to blow out the air or whatever. And the blower cooler does, so it's not going to be able to get fresh air, blow out air, and then you're limited to the type of case you're going to get. So. They have some cases that you can do it. Then you go ahead and use this, you're fine. If not, take it off, put an 80 millimeter fan. You could probably fit a Noctua. I think it was an 80 millimeter. Yeah, it was an 80 millimeter Noctua fan that I actually put on here, use the adapter, actually ran a lot quieter because these things are quite no noisy. Ran a lot quieter, no heat issues. Put an i7 in here, 1050 Ti, 16 gigs of DDR3, uh, two, 256 solid state hard drive with a one terabyte put this in a little pretty RGB case, you're good to go. So like I said, uh, these little small computers over here, I see people throw them out a lot. And a lot of times when I see them on the internet, they're about $20, $30. They come to i5 third gen, simple, easy mods. You can customize it or you can go the easier route and just leave it in the case, clean it up and just put a low profile video card, but you pay more for the low profile video card, solid state, the memory, and it still works as good. But most of the time people want to fancier, prettier case, especially that's what sells and that's what people like. And sometimes people bring me their cases and that's what they want me to do with their old Dells. So um, just wanted to record this, just quick tip on anybody trying to use this motherboard and running into the CPU cooler issue. I mean, you could go out, if this cooler goes bad, you can go out and buy another one, $10 on eBay, or get the adapter. Like I said, pop that in there. You won't get that fan error no more. You don't have to worry about dealing with Molex and special adapters. Works just as good. So um, I'll post the link to my other Dell videos that I've done. The, the one with the front button pinout and all those other little guys that I've done. So you can watch those. Um, I've only done a video on the front button pinout. There are better videos than the one I do out there. So I recommend you search for them. But at least mine kind of gives you an idea more or less how to do it, but definitely check out those other ones. I've seen guys do way better videos that have better explanations and look a lot cleaner than the way I do it. As far as the front panel IO error that you'll get and the other fan error I get, as far as fan error, any fan error you get, buy these pins, uh, this adapter, like I said, I don't have any right now, I gotta order one. But buy one of these adapters, you can plug them in, that gets rid of the front fan, uh, the rear fan uh, error, cause there's actually another fan right over here. You see right there, there's a fan right over here. So if you get rid of that error, I'll take care of that. And then I take the USB 3.0 and I kind of adapt it into the case, or not the USB 3.0, uh, the front IO. I adapt it into the case or tuck it away somewhere and that way the computer boots with no issues. So um, questions, concerns, comments, input, let me know down below. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see what comes up next.